Hey. Ooh, that's bright. Welcome back. So, um, you guys see the title. This is a short warning that I have to get out. Um, the Lord has been speaking to me about this a little bit on and off, but he, um, told me that I'm supposed to release this today. Um, as far as a warning, it's something to pray against. Always know whenever you have these prophetic warnings, um, the church has power to stop things. The church has power and authority to shift something different. So with this much time ahead, this is why it's given so that we can pray, so that we can shift things around with the grace of God and, and, and um, warfare. So with that being said, take everything I say to the Lord. Don't let us sit with you. Please pray about all things and no fear. Understand that this is not about fear mongering or doom and gloom. This is just a heads up to the opponent doing another attack. Okay. So the Lord was revealing to me is that coming into 2024, he said to me, spiritual wickedness, spiritual wickedness. And then he says, spiritual wickedness. And he showed me, he says, sleeper cells, sleeper cells. And he showed me that I saw in a vision, I saw, it was like I saw demons scurrying around. I saw a whole bunch of demonic spirits scurrying around. And then it was like I saw in the physical, I saw these um, foreign people scurrying around America. And they were scurrying around and they were, they're all finding a hidden position. Okay. And it's not that they're going to try to do something all at once. This is going to be like popcorn. You know how a first per, a few kernels pop, then there's 10 more, then there's 20 more, then there's this. These types of things is what their idea is. Is this what the Lord is saying is going to happen? No. But this is, he is revealing to me what their agenda is. There's something different than man's agenda, the devil's agenda, and then God's agenda. Understand that. Things you can pray against is the devil's agenda. That's the purpose of having revelation like this, a prophetic warning, a watchman, to pray against what may come against. <laughs> All right. So what happened next was as I was watching this, the Lord said they're coming after the infrastructure of America. They weren't going to come after homes. They're not coming after the homes. That doesn't stop. That doesn't stop a nation. They're wanting to put the nation to a halt. They want to put this nation to a halt, y'all. They don't want it to continue. They want to let it be at a standstill, one way or another, by multiple reasons, really. These sleeper cells, these foreign uh, people are intellectual they are operating by smart intelligence um with technology this isn't something so grass grown it's not something so organic okay um there are people um there are elites with a lot of money all right and they're doing certain things be praying about this. I was prompted. I was actually resting about to maybe take another nap. And the Lord said, warn them. And I said, warn them what? <laughs> and then he gave me a vision and spoke to me and gave me all of this. Uh, so I love you guys. Be safe. Share this to as many people as possible. Once again, this wasn't so much of a thing of 2023 as it was specifically next year. So this is something we can pray against. This is something we can come against as a church, as a body filled with the spirit. We attack things in the spirit and watch it shift in the physical. We have the invisible world um, dominated because of our king. You understand that, right? So we must walk in dominancy as a servant of the most high God. All right. Don't forget your authority. Don't forget who you are. This is no fear once again. And this is about your identity in Christ. What can you do right now to be effective? Because we all can. Don't let the devil say you are not some um, washed out Christian. No, you have been bought and paid for. God is still jealous for you. 
So you still have a reason. You still have a purpose. You're going to make an impact. I love y'all. Be safe. Bye.